Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. So this one is video review number 399 and for this one I thought I'd do a kind of semi-special review to lead you into my 400th review tomorrow and you'll, you'll see tomorrow why I chose this beer for it. But for this one we are going to go to one of my local breweries from when I was living in Aberdeen. 99% of you who watch the channel will know this brewery because they're very very famous now worldwide. This is Brewdog and we're going to have a taste of Konnichiwa Kitsune which is is one of the Hello My Name Is series and this series is always in a double or an imperial IPA however you want to refer to it but they always infuse it with a really random fruit and you get some beautiful beers out of this series so it really is a shame that these are only one-off brews because the ones I've had before the Mete Marie, the Paivi and the other ones they're beautiful beautiful beers and I'm sure this one will be no exception to that rule. So before I get on with this video I need to give a shout out to Michiko Ozaki she knows why and um, I've got another bottle of this beer to share with her when she comes to visit me so I'm sure she'll enjoy that and I also have to give a shout out to my best friend Grant Mackay who bought this beer for me and kept it for me because he knows I love Brewdog beer and I didn't want to miss this one because I love this series so a big thank you to Grant for keeping this beer for me but hopefully Brewdog can actually sponsor me so I never miss any of their beers I was away in Australia obviously and I did miss one or two of their beers which was a, re a real shame but hopefully that never has to happen again but anyway we'll get on with the review now so as always I'll take you through a, a minute or two about the brewery about the company history if you don't want to watch that just fast forward to the tasting section the brewery website's in the video description for you below as always along with a link to my other reviews and I've done about 20 or 30 Brewdog reviews now so there's a good selection for you there to choose from. So anyway, Brewdog was founded in 2007 by two guys, James Watt and Martin Dickey, so it's very much their love child, but their first brewery was at the Keswick Industrial Estate in Fraserburgh in the very northeast corner of Scotland, right on the tip of the monster's nose as I always describe it, but more recently they've moved to their new purpose-built facility in Ellen in Aberdeenshire, which is about 50, I think it's 15, 20 miles to the north of the city of Aberdeen, but they now have a tap room there and they're also talk talking about opening up a hotel as well so keep an eye on the website for the latest developments at the brewery but these guys are a very experimental brewery they're very well known for having done very strong beers and really random things like this random different fruits and their unleash the yeast series their um IPA is dead series where they do all these single hop IPAs but regardless a very experimental brewery highly influenced by the American sort of craft brewing renaissance and they also have a huge network of uh, brew pubs these days the first one of these opened in 2010 in Aberdeen which of course was one of my local ones in Aberdeen that I used to visit a lot I love that bar um, but they've got a whole host of these now they've got them in Italy in Brazil in Japan uh, Sweden, all throughout Europe. I think they've got part owned ones with Vian Stefan in Germany now and also with Stone Brewery out in America as well but they're forever expanding their uh, their kind of series of brew pubs that they've been doing for you and you get all of these throughout the UK now as well so keep an eye out for on the Brewdog website and see where your next brew pub is going to open but they also have um, an equity for punk scheme where you can actually buy into the brewery and this is how they funded their kind of constant expansion if like but the company are doing very very well and they're actually the largest independently owned craft brewery in Scotland these days and they're forever expanding as I say so they will be a big contributor to the Scottish economy and they're talking about opening up a second brewery on the west coast of America as well so very very interesting times ahead for this company and their beer is magnificent so they really do deserve all the plaudits that they've had in recent years so anyway that's your little bit of history about the brew dog brewery so we'll get on to the tasting of this beer itself let me just bring up the camera and let you have a little look at the artwork on this one. As you can see, that's the cover of this one. Brewdog, of course, while I was away in Australia, changed a lot of their labels. So this is the new kind of Brewdog symbol. It is kind of reminiscent of the old one, but I have to admit, I do miss the old labels. I really like the old labels, but they decided to change them. This is a different bottle cap as well. As you can see, they've changed this a little bit. I've never seen a grey one right enough, but they've changed all their bottle caps, so they're all different colours now. As you can see in Japanese, that's the, uh, the little blurb on this one, but I do have the translation of it in my notes as far as I can see it says on the side part of the Hello My Name Is series Konnichiwa Kitsune is a citrus packed double IPA named in a slight deviation from a Hello My Name Is series Konnichiwa Kitsune is Japanese inspired yuzu infused imperial IPA brewed with Amarillo, Cascade and Citra. These punchy new world hops bring orange, grapefruit and lime back up to the back up the yuzu aroma and flavour. Super citrusy with big mandarin notes balanced against a caramel malt biscuit base. And this one I believe was actually brewed originally for the Roppongi bar in Tokyo in Japan. And I visited there when I was in when I was in Tokyo and very, very nice bar actually and 
not expensive either actually. Can, Japan's quite expensive to drink in but the Brewdog bar was actually very reasonably priced. So to tell you about the beer itself, as you would have guessed, it's 8.2% Imperial or double IPA, however you want to look at it. It's brewed with Amarillo, Cascade and Citra hops and as I mentioned it's infused, infused with yuzu fruit and the yuzu is a citrus fruit plant originating in East Asia and it's believed to be a hybrid of the sour mandarin and Ichang papeda fruits as well. So very very kind of mandarin-y flavour that you'll get from this guy and it actually does look just like a kind of more yellowy orange actually. It's when you look at the pictures of it. Have a look on Wikipedia and you can read a little bit about it. So a very very interesting beer and this is probably my favourite series of beers that Brewdog reviews. So without further ado let's get on with the tasting of this beer. I'll just check that the camera is not playing up again because it's been doing that when I filmed this review. So we'll get it open and we'll get on with the tasting. So as you can see, nice little smoky opening, just a little bit of smoke and you can really smell the fruit with that one as you open it up. So you can see, just sugar up a bit and try and get a bit more of a head on it. And that's poured just nicely. So as you can see it's poured a really kind of nice bright orangey amber colour. If I bring it up to the camera you can see it's a little bit transparent, I can see just a little bit through it but mainly hazy, there's a finger of a kind of creamy coloured head on this guy, really frothy but a bit bumpy as well, some nice big bubbles just sticking towards the side of the glass, um, not any sedimentation in this guy which is kind of unusual for the series, if I remember right as I said to you they always infuse these with the random fruits, uh, the last one I reviewed was Hello My Name Is Paivi which I believe was a kind of blueberry one actually that they put in this kind of Finnish blueberries. But the other ones had, uh, one of the ones had cloudberries and one of them had ligonberries in it as well. And that was, there was Ingrid, Meti, Marie, Paivi and I think there was another one as well. But Kenichiwa Kitsune is the Japanese one and this yuzu fruit should be really interesting. So in terms of the aroma with this guy, very, very strong fruity as you would expect. You can smell the yuzu in there and it's it's an aroma like I've never smelled. So it's it's quite hard to describe it for you but it's definitely present in there. But the overall aroma of this guy, it's a big sort of grape that you're getting. Um, the main part that's coming out to me is the kind of soury elements of the grapefruit. That sort of sour smell that you get from grapefruit. But you can pick up a little bit. The yuzu is definitely in there. I really don't know how to describe that because it's like nothing I've ever smelled. But there's a big kind of mix of sort of mandarin -y, sort of mandarin and orange notes in this guy. It smells very juicy, this beer. So you've got a big mix a sort of mandarin-y, orangey flavor, orangey, orange, <laughs> orangey uh, aromas with this guy and some nice kind of sour grapefruit in this one. You can pick up, there is a little bit of uh, caramel underneath it but it's almost like a little bit, it's a bit weird, the, the, the yuzu actually smells as if there's a little bit of bamboo in it which is quite unusual, it reminds me, the, the sort of bamboo that you can eat with Japanese food, the smell reminds me a little bit of the taste of that which is unusual. but. There's a little bit of resin underneath that, you can pick that up, there is a definite kind of aromatic -y and resiny presence which I believe is the cascade top, you get a kind of resiny, resiny and, um, and aromatic -y one from that and the citra hop. But you've got the nice yuzu coming out in there as well, but it's mainly a grapefruit kind of tropically note that's coming out of this, but it's mixed very well with the oranges. So as I always say with this series in particular, do spend a little bit of time and just smell it before you taste it because you get some really beautiful aromas but if you sugar it up you can get a bit of breadiness out of it and a little bit of the kind of caramel aromas it's a really beautiful beer this one and any one you'll get out of this series is awesome so without further ado this is Konnichiwa Kitsune from uh, Brewdog in Ellen in Aberdeenshire in Scotland a toast to Grant Mackay and Michiko Ozaki uh, what is it? Kampai in Japanese Kampai. Oh yeah. It's quite, one thing I would say in comparison with the other ones I've had from this series, it is actually a little bit thinner and it's not quite as strong in flavour, it's more of a blended flavour this guy. Yeah, definitely thinner in the mouthfeel in comparison with the other ones I've had. The alcohol warmth in this one is um, it's definitely quite hidden but I think this is a bit lighter, I think the other ones I've had in this series have always been about 9% but um, maybe that's just because it's for the Japanese market, Japanese beers are always a little bit lower in ABV mm. 
But yeah, in terms of the, the flavours with this guy, you're getting a lot of the tropical fruit coming out. It's got a nice, <clears throat> big sort of juicy, orangey, citrus flavour in there. But you've got an unusual, almost um, like a sort of um, hazy-ish orange flavour that you're getting. And that must be the yuzu in this one. It's got a little bit... I don't know how you describe it, it's almost like it, it gives it a little bit of a sort of chalky mouthfeel to the beer, and but that must be the yuzu. Yeah. The yuzu is almost like a kind of dusty orange, if you like. Like I'm not really sure how to describe it. You're getting a lot of mandarin-y, oily mandarin flavours out of this beer, but they're backed up by the kind of sort of sour elements from the grapefruit. There's maybe a little bit of a kind of um, mango-y flavour in there as well. It's not quite as sharp as sort of peach or pineapple if you like, but there's definitely something in there on top of the grapefruit. But it's a very interesting mix of fruit flavours that you're getting out of this guy. Yeah, the, it's almost like a little bit of a kind of dusty-ish mandarin flavour you're getting from that yuzu, but it's really nice and it's really interesting. The whole point of these beers is that they're meant to be interesting and challenge the palate and this guy really does that and I, I like it when you have a beer that you have to think a little bit about it because it's it's always interesting to test your palate in that way so you've got a huge fruity flavour in this one like I say you're getting a kind of the malt base in this one is actually a little bit cereally, a little bit earthy perhaps and um, there is a definite earthy element to the hops as well you can just detect it around the edge of the around the edges of the palate the fruity flavors are kind of pushing forward towards the front of the tongue with a kind of oily mouthfeel and that's where you're getting the nice kind of mandariny oranges and the sort of grapefruity flavors and as i say i think there's a little bit of kind of mango in there there's definitely another element to the tropical fruits that could well be the yuzu given that impression but i think a little bit of mango in in there pardon me but you've also got this interesting taste in it that's like a dusty kind of orange in it as well. And as I say, it actually reminds me a little bit of the kind of bamboo flavours that you get in some Japanese food. It's like a kind of dusty mandarin -y sweet orange, but it's a really beautiful blend of flavours, this one. With the malt base, you're getting a nice kind of caramel malt base, but there is, as I say, a little bit of a cereal element to it. There's a definite kind of almost earthy or kind of cereal spice, perhaps a little bit of both. Around the back edges of the tongue, I'm getting a little bit of kind of cereal spice in the malt base, but I think there is a little bit of earthy character in the hops here as well, which is quite interesting. But that, that could well be the yuzu infusion that's kind of giving that impression. As I say, it makes me think of a kind of dusty or slightly earthy orange flavour. But yeah, you get a as you kind of take a few more sips of this, the flavour actually develops once your mouth kind of adjusts to it. So you get that little juicy element of uh, that kind of oily element just pushing towards the front of the tongue, and then um, you will feel that it, it's a big blend of kind of mandarins there. But you can just feel it's almost that yuzu flavour must be a little bit sharper than the uh, than a kind of traditional orange or mandarin or something like that. But it's a nice. There is an, a big, air, a big sort of earthy element and uh, or cereal spicy element to it, and perhaps that's the yuzu as well. I really don't know what this fruit tastes like. I wish I'd tasted it when I was in Japan. If I'd known there was yuzu in this beer, I definitely would have. So I had an idea. But it's a very interesting beer. As I say, it's got all the typical elements that you expect of a double IPA. A kind of nice, rich caramel malt base. It has a little bit of cereal to it, which is unusual. And a little bit of earthy hop around the tongue. But you're getting the nice, big, grapefruity and sort of mango fruit flavours that just push towards the front of the tongue in the sort of oily bubble that you get there. But there is a bit of sharp mandarin in there. And that's kind of... That must be a little bit of the yuzu. The yuzu must be a very kind of sharp orangey mandarin citrusy flavour and you can just pick that up as you progress through the flavour in this one. Yeah, if you just sit the beer on the front of your tongue you will pick up that definite, that kind of unusual yuzu flavour. So just try it for yourself. It's quite hard to describe a flavour that you've never come across but to me it's like a slightly dustier but at the same time slightly sharper sort of orangey mandariny flavour but it's very very nice and as I say I love this beer and I do have another bottle to share with Michiko when she comes to visit me in uh, 
in uh, in August, I believe it is. So she'll be able to expand a bit on the flavours for me with that one. But in terms of the mouthfeel of this guy, it's quite. I'd say it's more mid-bodied. It's not quite as full as the other ones I've had in this series as well. The carbonation is very very smooth, but it's got a nice oily mouthfeel. And um, the alcohol warmth in this one compared with the other ones is actually quite subdued. They've managed to disguise it well. So perhaps the yuzu is a kind of. Um, is a kind of good element to add for disguise and alcohol worth but then again I've got a feeling this beer is actually a bit lighter in ABV the Japanese beers always tend to be like that because the Japanese drink nowhere near as much as uh, as we do in the West so their beers always are a little bit lighter for in that regard but anyway um, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review it's been really cool to do another one from the Hello My Name Is series as I say my favourite series from Brewdog who are an awesome brewery as I'm sure many of you know please let me know in the comment section your own thoughts on this beer if you have tried it yourself and uh, please like subscribe share all the usual youtube stuff i hope you've enjoyed this brew dog review and tune in for my 400th review tomorrow i've got a very special beer that is one probably nobody will ever review this beer for you again so do check it out i'll catch you soon cheers